Hey guys, hey girls, here I am. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I was driving and it just popped into my head. So I guess it's going to be a thinking out loud video. Um, and it's about equality in men and women and I think the issues that people face these days is to do with this equality. Um, so I think playing devil's advocate for the guys, um, you know, sometimes they might know, not know what to or how to approach us because, you know, we want to be these empowered, strong women and I get it I'm a very masculine woman myself and I, I I moan that people don't help me and I don't really ask anybody to help me uh, with things as well um, so like I said just playing devil's advocate there they might even not know like you know if I approach her I offend her there's all this everybody's getting offended by every little thing these days so I was there driving along in my car and I'm like, what we want most is these, you know, masculine men. And how can we have a masculine man if we're in the masculine energy? And I've spoke about this lots of times. Um, we all need a balance of feminine and masculine energy within us. But... Maybe through no fault of your own, you've stepped more into the masculine and society is telling us, you know, women, you don't have to wait for any, you know, a guy to get it for you. You can go get it yourself and things like that. But then most women I deal with, um, they'll be like, or talk to, they'll be like, guys, you know, maybe aren't paying for meals anymore or they're saying pay half and things like that. And I want to be treated like a lady. Um, but you're very much in your masculine energy. Like I can, I can, I can. And there's nothing wrong with either. Um, there's nothing wrong with splitting a bill. I don't think, um, especially if you're just like going on a first date, but I'm kind of like that too. I kind of want a guy who's going to be, um, I think I'm old fashioned. Um, I want to like cook his food and sit at home and wait, wait for him to come home. <laughs> old fashioned or lazy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think like this is where I can help translate the masculine energy the best, right? Because you do want these guys to be caring and loving and nurturing to you. And, you know, you've got to allow them that, right? You want to be, you want a man to be a man, right? You're like, how can he just walk away and leave me and things like that? You've got to be, you know, for want of better words, the damsel in distress to get your knight in shining armour. Why would a masculine man want a masculine female? So I guess, you know, we can say a king and a queen and we say these sayings and I think there's a lot of damage going on in saying I'm a queen and if my man is like down and out or I meet him and he's down and out and I'll touch on this in a second as well, guys. But if he's down and out, I'll be there to pick him up. And women don't actually mind <clears throat> doing this. But if you're going to pick him up and then remind him every day, I, I do this for you. I do that for you. It's not cute, is it? Uh, it's not cute guys doing it to girls either, right? Um, but it's sort of emasculating men that sort of society has got us doing. And I think it's having this detrimental effect on family, right? Where we're saying we don't need men and how many comments and women are going around saying, 
I don't need a man. And then when their man leaves them, they're very sad, as we all are, when somebody we love leaves them. But you're constantly saying, I don't need a man. So as well as that being an affirmation to the universe and your higher self that you don't need a man. And this is why I always tell you, be careful what you're saying. You're speaking it into existence. Right? And it's okay to not need somebody, uh, you know, but wanting somebody is different, right? And I think you're confusing the two. Um, I hope I'm getting across my point because it was just my mind, how I was thinking and thinking out loud. As I say, one of my thinking out loud videos, I always, you know, these things while I'm driving because I'm by myself and your head has time to just wander away. And I, and I really thought, yeah. And I know I spoke to somebody else about this. It was in another video about, um, you know, needing to curb our masculine energy. And I do too, because I'll be like, go get me this. Oh no, I'll just do it myself. If you want something done right, do it yourself. All these sayings that we've learned without even realizing, are having a real effect on our reality, right? Um, like I've heard people say, constantly uh money's the root of all evil it's actually that's the wrong saying in the in the start right and then they're like well i want to get my money but if you're believing money's bad for you money's evil how is it going to come to you so these are the first things that i feel like you need to change or we need to change when starting on our spiritual path when trying to manifest the life we desire and things like that so I just wondered what you guys thought um you know about this masculine energy that we embrace and you know I think it started with you know women's rights and things like that and that's great we should have rights just you know um but then I think if you just be accountable and you look and you check it out and you say you know Am I maybe too masculine? Because like I said, we need a balance of feminine because we do want men to be men, but then we want them to be soft with us as well. That's why men need feminine energy as well. Um, but we also need to let them know we're vulnerable. I'm telling you, guys like to be needed. Well, guys, chime in here. Um, you may say, yeah, I want a woman who's strong, independent. And then when you've actually got them, ladies, you might notice this as well. You might say, I want a woman who's strong, independent, wants a lot of sex. And then when you've got a woman who's strong and independent and wants a lot of sex, it can be a totally different story, right? Um, you might not, like, get on and you're butting heads because it's like two masculine energies can't create. See, either one's going to be very feminine and the other's going to be very masculine. Or we want to bring them both into balance so then we can create something, a relationship, you know, a connection and move it forward if it's too feminine um, and I'm not talking about um, gender right you guys know that already I'm not talking about gender I'm talking about energy so yeah it was just going through my mind so I thought I'd pop up with a quick video and just wanted to read some comments from you guys and see what you guys thought and hopefully it won't be about my face is white and my hands are black <laughs> I know I played too much but I just wondered what you guys thought <laughs>